Hi, Svante. Hi, Jenska. How are you doing? Good seeing you. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm and I'm very happy to see you. Yeah, Good. I'm very. Happy to see I'm you. fine, and I'm happy you have time. Of course, I know you very well because together we started the Roy Hart Center in the Netherlands. Right. Yes, big title, but you know we're trying to cover what we do. And I'm very happy to start this with you, as I always say, because you are the Roy Hart Center of the Roy Hart Teacher from the Netherlands. Right. Officially. That's that's right. I'm saying correctly. Yeah, that's why we started this. I'm very happy. And we invite regularly teachers from all over the world that are affiliated with the center in Malerac. But of course, every year you give a workshop as well, a four-day workshop. And I yeah. that. Can you tell me a little bit, the next one is in March, 14 to 17 of March, 2024. Can you tell me a little bit about what will we do then? What is your- Oh my God, we will do yeah. so much. <laughs> I'm just gonna ask an open question, so maybe- you Yeah, <laughs> well, I'm, I'm very happy. I'm looking very much forward to those days um, because, of course, I have a lot of experience, but in fact, I don't never, I never know exactly what I'm going to do. Mm. And I think that is already an example of this whole work. It's always developing. It's always because it has directly to do with you as a human being in this world. And I hope everyone is able to change and to adapt. It would not be not a nice world, I think, if we always stay the same. And so it's always a new entrance, which often surprises me as well. Hmm. And I think, oh, wow, hmm. I started with uh, asking them to move or, oh, no, I, I always do moving, but I didn't. How, how did I do it today? But there's always a, um, how do you say, it? a um, idea about humanity or a, maybe you could say philosophy, which is always the same for me. And I think from the uh, founding members who started all this work in the 60s and my old teachers, the same. It is about a meeting between people from heart to heart, from soul to soul, and with that voice. That's not a, a fixed voice, it, because even the soul and even the heart is changing every minute. I mean, I'm not the same like I was this morning when I sit here. But still, uh, your voice how do I say that your voice is there at that moment? And it's a lot about um, respecting yourself, respecting the other, accepting um, that your voice is different, that your voice can be constantly on different places, but at that moment, it should be the absolute 100% of your whole being. Mm. And if not, I think we are all trained to hear this and thinking, yeah, but this is not, there's so much not uh, sounding. There's so much more to um, to express than what you do. And then it's my task to tickle, to, to do nice propositions, to do challenging um, uh, questions to get you to do that because, well, yes, because why should I do it? Because the experiences that, that I lived myself too, I was very silent and was not so much um, a voice person, not at all. I was more painting and dancing. But if you are on this world with your voice, and you accept the so many other voices in yourself, in yourself, which can be symbols of your emotions, which can be your emotion, which can be 
uh, all the characters in you, you know, all the all the different roles you play, then uh, my idea is you are stronger. You are mo much more rooted on this earth. And you are much more open towards other people. I almost get emotional because at the moment the world needs so much mm -hmm. that we don't have fixed ideas and that we don't that but that we are constantly open to yeah, well, the beautiful people we are and and constantly surprise and be curious for the world and for the sounds. So that is actually never changed my whole life. I mean, mm -hmm. when I started, when I was 20, I started as a school teacher, but it was the same search. I wanted to find a way to meet people from heart to heart and to find the best expression for that. Yes. It has been dance for a while, then my body did not accept it anymore, the very uh, professional dance way. So uh, I had a tough, tough time to accept that, but then the Roy Hart Theatre came on my path. Mm -hmm. And then I found the same, uh, the, a match between how you see humanity, which for me was in the Dance Expressie, where I come from, and the Roy Hart way of working, uh, founded by Ave Wolfson, by Alfred Wolfson, and then developed by Roy. I found that such a big, uh, great match. And I thought, oh, wow, these are two dreams of humanity, the world, how we can be here and be creative. How to be creative. And that that is, I think, the two main parts. So your soul and creativity. Mm -hmm. Yes. Creativity can be in art, can be professional, can also be with your family at home or living alone. And uh, well, everyone who likes to cook knows how much creativity is asked there. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't need to be big art. Lovely, lovely. It's very nice to hear you talk about your work, to um, hear where for you the essence is, and that it, when you talk about it, it touches you again, yeah. still. And I, that's how I experience you as a teacher, but also as a friend and as a performer. That you're always really there in your whole being. And yeah. You love, and I love that that is in your teaching. Thank so you. That's wonderful. Yeah. So that makes you, you know, we, we talk about it together a lot of times. And uh, every Roy Hart teacher is different eh, coming from the Roy Hart Theater. But there is this essence there. Of, yeah. Let's we have to be careful. Of, all the... Yeah. Um, we now, after years and years of discussion, where it always was called a Roy Hart teach a uh, theater teacher. Yes, it's not anymore now. It's now called Roy Hart Center teacher. Ah, there you go. Yeah, that is because um, when it started, it was a theater. But now it is. Um, there is theater is a very big part, but it is not one theater anymore. It's not, the, the Roy Hart Theater doesn't exist. There exists the Roy Hart Center with a lot of people who do theater, but that's yeah. something else. Yes. So, uh, yeah. I see, yes. So that's how things are changing, yeah. Yeah. So we know now more about how, you know, what is important for you in your teaching, what your view is on it and on voice, but can you maybe tell a bit more about how you go about this? Yeah, I hear that you work very intuitively, so that you're in the moment, you see what's needed. But what kind yeah. of themes can I expect if I uh, want to join? Yes. Well, before I start, I have to say I have to say that because I don't know how many interviews we will ever do again. But I hope more. <laughs> to be honest. I am yes. very very happy that you Yinska started this idea of founding this Roy Hart Center. In for Holland, and uh, 
I think we our souls met. I mean, mm. we didn't need Absolutely. to speak a lot. So what you um, respect in me is something that matches and um, is on the same frequency as what I meet with you. So that, that I had to say. That's why the Roy Hart Center Holland is so important, beautiful and nice. <laughs> You're very for, thank you for saying that. I recognize it completely. Yes, thank you. Yeah. So what do, do I do? Um, um, I my background is the dance expressi, mm -hmm. which is a um, creative educational dance, and educational is uh, really important because it has a method and it has a pedagogic pedagogic. Yes. You can write about it, you can speak about it. And you can dance, of course, because it works with the yes. dance. Yes. Um, for, I've done technique, techniques, technical dance like Graham and Cunningham also before I started Dance Expressi. And it helps me enormously to read the bodies of the people in groups or when I have individual lessons. I can see the dance. Mm. wanting to be danced mm. and not yet is dancing uh which is some and often i refer there to the voice when the voice doesn't come completely i see yeah but the body is not completely there too so moving and um the sensation of dance is for me essential which does not mean that I that people have to expect that we do whole dance sessions. Maybe we do. Often I do. But it is um, also the, the, the dance inside of us, uh, like the melody uh, which what we speak. Well, anyway, this movement um, uh, is warming up the body, hmm. is filled with emotions, is filled with themes, might not be so conscious, but it's my job to get that out, mm. to to mm. see. And I, I have to make mistakes. Sometimes I'm completely wrong when I say to someone, "Wow, um, um, could you dance much more with movements that never stop? And could you do mm. that with a voice to it, which never stops? A bit like an ocean." And I could be wrong. That person could have had just an awful experience with an ocean. Yes. So co collapse completely. They, no, 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 ocean. So I have to find, and, oh, sorry, sorry. Um, um, yeah, well, I have to find other ways to yes. get there. But um, that, that, that's a bit how, uh, and, and then I could start by the voice saying, okay, do you, do you hear how your voice is flowing? I could also say, well, please stop for a moment with the voice. Let's see how your movements are when you mm. be inspired by, by moving fluently. And can you now sing it? So, yeah, yeah. It, it, it helps each other. Yeah. And what we do exactly, yeah, we do um, group movement. We do group sounding, singing. And the individual work is in the Roy Hart Center a very important um, element of the group work. It's um, it's uh, giving attention and giving your energy to someone at the piano or not. I mean, who is trying to get to explore some voices on its own with the help of the teacher. And it's the teacher's task to get the whole group energized, not that the whole group starts sinking in and sleeping because only the other is working. But um, And it is there because uh, I think especially the old um, teachers uh, paid a lot of value on listening. Mm -hmm. uh, they often said singing is mainly, is maybe even... Maybe 99% it is listening to the other, to yourself. Yeah, yeah. 
And then science discovered that uh, vocal cords are resonating. So if someone, I live that myself, I, for me, the um, above middle C on the piano was for me soprano. I could not imagine that anyone yes. could sing higher than that. I could go very low, but but then um, if someone of the group sings in a high soprano, my vocal cords resonate with that. They really take the frequencies. And Robert, the old teacher of mine, was very, very uh, quick in those things. Then he was working with that person on a soprano. And then he could turn around in a in a fragment of a second and said, and now you. And he, he <laughs> said, hmm. yes. same note. And yes. what out of it came? Because the whole system is already there. Yes. It's already tuned in. Wonderful. And that is one of the lovely things about group work. And actually, that works the whole time on different levels, this yeah. uh, resonating with each other. Yeah, yeah. So you're always participating, even though it's right. so, you're still there and supporting. And I love how you intertwine the physical with the vocal, the spiritual, and maybe some subconscious parts as well. And yeah, I think you work very broadly. Just to go towards the end, the rounding up, it is important, you know, who can join? What kind of people yeah. should join or could join? What do you think works for your workshop? Yeah, that is open to all. And how this work started was in London in the 50s with a group of, there was a plumber in it, a yeah. woodcrafter, a doctor, a singer, a musician, it was all kind of people, but all people had the need to to express themselves more with their voices. Yes. Who were not, who, who a lot of them were also not happy with their voices. Like, no, I, I will never ever sing because I, I have an awful voice. Mm, yes. I was one of those who was silent and didn't sing at all and could now not think about a life without all that. So... It can change, but it took a lot of years. But yes. so that is really for all. Um, and no, the theme, which is important for someone, gets clear during the way. Mm. And I hope that um, I will be awake enough uh, to notice that what what theme is coming up for that single person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to because if you have that if you know why you're singing mm -hmm. you can you can find the, the right voice for it you know it's it, it's for us from the royal art tradition or royal art work is singing because the note is nice is completely not very interesting no it's not about that. It is about communicating. If if it's not communicating, then I find it boring. <laughs> I think, yeah, okay, very clever that I know. Yeah. I'll but do it. it. Yeah, right. Engagement, yeah. But why? Why? If you don't want to communicate. Yeah. So people who oh. have that wish, yeah, and want to work on that level, it also sounds like it's a deeper level and bringing your whole self. And yeah, this is fit for you. Yeah, and I do everything this gesture with communicating, but of course, and that's more a uh, uh, a path I am on myself now. That it is also and very important the communication with yourself. Yes, and with the listening, with the with the surrounding. It's not only pouring out your own thing outside, but also listening to other human beings but also to trees to to a city to a room to listen and to find out what is my voice that that uh, fits in here that sounds absolutely lovely Swanje, so, i think we should talk more often and record it don't you think oh so? good yeah we make a podcast <laughs> <laughs> or like a video cast because for now, I want to keep it for this, for this yes. coming workshop, so people have an idea. But there's much more there, and I feel like I want to ask you a lot more. 
And of course, people who join the workshop can also, of course, talk to you about it. I know that oh, part, yes. of the, part of the situation as well. So for now, I would like to thank you very much for this. Well, a pleasure. A and pleasure. I'm really looking forward to uh, meeting you in March here in Amsterdam. Yeah, me, me too. Thank you so much. Be great. Thank you. Well, thank again. you. <laughs> thank you.